ब्रह्मनाथ ओ शांति 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 स्वस्थ हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द फाइलम पोरीफेरा फाइलम पोरीफेरा मीन्स वट Porifera means pore bearing animals, in which we discussed various points that the phylum Porifera are generally the diploblastic, mostly are asymmetrical, and the numerous pores are present that are called the ostia. Then also we discussed that the characteristic features, those are your, we can say the uh, the presence of the pinacoderm and the coenoderm. We discussed all the points. <coughs> Next also we discussed that uh, we can say that uh, the no excretory system is present, no nervous system is present, no respiratory system is present as the excretion and the respiration takes place through the general body surface. We discussed that the fertilization is indirect and the development is we can say the, develop, uh, the fertilization is internal and the development is we can say indirect because the presence of the larval stages. Okay. So then uh, lastly example so we discussed such as your cycon and the spongyla, euplectella. Okay. So by this we discussed the general characteristics of the phylum porifera. That is your first phylum of the non -coroda. Remember students, always you should remember the phylum's name in serially, always. Okay. So we will go also serially. First we discuss the phylum, next we discuss the silentrata. Okay. Next we will discuss the tenophora. Like this we will go in serially. Okay. You also remember in a serial way. Okay. Remind this. I am reminding you one more time that you should always remember all the phylums in a serial way, not in haphazard way, means phylum, uh, porifera, then platyhelminthes, then we can say the arthropoda, no, we will go serially, always you should remember or we can say simply say you buy heart in a serial way, okay, the, all the 10 phylum, okay. So in the previous class we discussed the phylum porifera, now we are going to discuss the phylum silentrata. So students, silentrata or we can say nidaria. <coughs> the silentrata term is derived from the word <coughs> called the coils which is known as we can say the hollow or the cavity and the enteron you know that is your intestine and nidaria how the term is coming nidaria terms comes from the word night means having the stinging cells okay we will discuss what are the stinging cells <coughs> so serendata term is derived or the term means the coils hollow enteron means intestine nidaria is derived from the term night means having the stinging cell so students, first general point of the cylindrata, okay, first, these the animals are simply we can say diploblastic, okay, having the blind sac plan, okay, these are first point you remember always, these are diploblastic having the blind sac plan and these are basically acylomate, acylomate means what student, these does not have any form of silo. Three types of silom we discussed the <coughs> silomate, then the we, saw, we have said the pseudo silomate and the a silomate. A silomate means what? They does not have any for, form of or sort of silom. So we can say the silentrata or we can say these are the diploblastic or we can uh, diploblastic having the blind sac plan and no silom is present. That is why it is called your a silomate. Okay, so we can write. <coughs> animals are animals are diploblastic diploblastic okay it have the we can say the cellular uh, the level of organization is tissue but having the low grade of tissue level organization you can say a diploblastic uh, having diploblastic having low grade of tissue organization <coughs> okay then blind sac plan is present 
blind sec plan and r we can say a silomet a silomet <coughs> all these points you should remember okay we have discussed so many levels of the organization okay <coughs> the cellular level tissue level this comes under the tissue level but the or level of organization is quite low in which it is arranged to in, to in the form of the tissue the level is low so, so it is called as the low grade of tissue organization okay blind sac plan means you all know blind sac plan means what blind sac plan means it have or bears only one opening that act as the mouth or also anus means it the, the only one opening it helps for the ingestion of the food and also it helps for the ejection or we can say elimination of the undigested food particles okay acylomate means as i said earlier does not bear any form of silome or silome is completely absent okay next point is we can say these are aquatic animals these are aquatic animals some are freshwater and mostly marine some are freshwater freshwater means students the having in the ponds basically lakes the water which we generally drink those are called a freshwater some are freshwater and uh, so mostly but mostly are in marine mostly means sea ocean like this mostly are marine <coughs> okay aquatic these are the aquatic animals but some are freshwater but mostly are marine next generally the cylindrates have the radial symmetry okay these have the <coughs> radial symmetry you know students what is the radial symmetry means radial symmetry means what suppose we can say this is the organism okay and this is the center means in any plane you pass through the center it will divide the organism into two equal halves suppose this is the plane so two equal halves suppose this is the plane so two equal halves suppose this is the plane so two equal halves we already discussed this so this is the main characteristics of the cylindrates means these have the radial symmetry okay next students we'll go some sort of we can say concept wise or by using the diagram we'll try to understand the structure of the cylindrate suppose <coughs> the cylindrate is having the structure somehow like this some elongated like structure are also present <coughs> okay students you always remember that in the case of the cylindrate these are the sessile or the sedentary means these are generally fixed to their substratum okay suppose see students it has the outer layer the which is called our epidermis these outer layer students okay these are called your generally the epidermis these are generally called the epidermis or simply we can say the outer layer okay these are your we can say students epidermis okay next students this is the outer layer we can write outer for your clear understanding outer inner layer that is called your we can say the gastrodermis gastro dermis okay <coughs> gastro dermis the inner layer that those are called your gastro 
dermis. These are simply we can say the inner layer. Okay, students. In between the epidermis and the gastrodermis, some jelly-like non-cellular layer is present. Can you tell me, student, what are these? What is this layer? You know. You clearly know. See, students. These are what I told. Told these are your diploblastic. We have studied, student, in the diploblastic. These are having the outer ectoderm and inner ectoderm. What is the general characteristics I have told? That an undifferentiated layer is present. What is that? Yes, that is your mesoglea. So we can say <coughs> an undifferentiated layer or jelly-like layer is present in between the epidermis and the gastrodermis. That is called your mesoglea. Meso. Yeah. Okay, students. So on the tip, we can say some elongated like structures are present. That is called the students hypostome. Hypostome. Okay, students. On the tip of the hypostome, the mouth is present. It bears the mouth. Okay. So this this is your you can say mouth. So at the tip of the, uh, the the tip of the hypostome, numerous tentacles are being raised. Numical numerous tentacles are being raised. Okay, students. Okay, students. These numerous tentacles. These are called your tentacles. These are called your tentacles. Okay, so in center, this cavity is called your cilenteron, or we can say the pair, the gastrovascular cavity. This cavity is nothing but your cilenteron or the uh, gastrovascular cavity or gastro. Vascular cavity. Okay, students. <coughs> Next, these tentacles bears some sort of special cells called the nidoblast or the nematoblast. These tentacles bears some sort of special cells called the stinging cells. Okay, stinging cells. These are called the nidoblast. Or the nematoblast. Okay, students. So these are called your nidoblast or nematoblast. To blast. Okay, nidoblast or the nematoblast. Students. The end at which the mouth is present, this is called an oral end. Whereas the opposite side is called an aboral end, or we can say oral side or aboral side. So this side we can say oral side. Okay. This side we can say it is a oral side. The opposite side is your uh, the uh, the side which is bearing the mouth is known as the oral side. Opposite side is your the we can say the ab oral side. So the this one is your ab oral side. Okay, students. <coughs> so students see. <coughs> so what we discussed now. So it is somehow we are taking a structure of a cylinder, common cylinder. So where we can discuss that the, we can say the base is fixed, or we can say it is the sedentary, or we can say sessile means the substratum it is face fixed, or we can say it is the base is fixed. Students, it consists of an outer layer that is called your epidermis, okay, and to inner layer that is called your gastrodermis that is called your inner layer. In between a non-cellular, a non-cellular jelly-like substance is present. A layer is present that is called a mesoglea. Simply, the cavity of the cylindron is called the cylinder. Uh, cavity of the cylindrata, or we can say in of this organism, is called the cylindron or the gastrovascular cavity. The cavity in the case of porifera students, do you remind what is it is? That is the spongocil cavity. Okay. 
So here the cavity is we can say cylindrical or the gastrovascular cavity. At the tip, uh, we can say elongated like structure is present that is called a hypostome, which bears the at tip of the hypostome, the mouth is present, from which various numerous tentacles are being arranged. What are the various functions of the tentacle students? Tentacles basically helps in we can say capturing the food. It acts as a defense mechanism as the various stinging cells are present. Those are called the nidoblast or the nematoblast. This helps in we can say in it helps in we can say it acts as a defense mechanism or we can say it fight against the enemies. That is why it is called the tentacles. Okay. So the tentacles have some sting special uh, some type of special cells. Those are called the nidoblast or the nematoblast. Okay. Or the, those are called the stinging cell. That is why it is also called the nidaria. So students, the portion of the organism in which the mouth is present, it is called the oral set. The opposite set is called the aboral set. Okay, clearly understood. We'll uh, write down all the points. <coughs> so, the outer layer is your, we can say the epidermis and the inner one is also, we can say the gastrodermis. The outer layer is, we can say, the epidermis and the inner layer is your uh, gastrodermis okay next point in between the gastrodermis and the epidermis a non cellular jelly like layer is present that is called a mesoglia in between epidermis and gastrodermis a jelly like non cellular layer is present is present that is mesoglia okay students next point the cavity of the uh, of the cylindrate or the cylindrata is known as a cylindron or the gastrovascular cavity cavity is known as cylindron or gastrovascular cavity vascular cavity okay students next tip of the hypostome uh, bears the mouth tip of the hypostome <coughs> bears the mouth okay some numerous tentacles arises and the tentacles have some uh, we can say special type of cell those are called your uh, stinging cell or we can say the nidoblast or the nematoblast tentacles bears numerous special type of cell cell called the nidoblast or the nematoblast called nidoblast <coughs> or nematoblast cells okay last point today <coughs> the mouth bearing side or the mouth bearing end is known as your oral side and the opposite end is known as your ap oral side the mouth bearing side is known as your is known as oral side and the opposite is your and the opposite is and the other side is oral side and the other side is or we can say in the other side is we can say the ab oral 
side okay so students these are your some points the outer layer is the epidermis inner layer is the gastrodermis in between the layer the epidermis and the <coughs> gastrodermis a jelly like non cellular layer is present that is your mesoclea cavity is known as a cilantron or we can say the gastrovascular cavity tip of the hypostome bears the mouth tentacle bears numerous special type of cell called the neuroblast or the nematoblast cell and lastly the mouth bearing side is known as a oral side and the other side is the ab oral side okay please note that now come to your some more general point students first we can say the sense organ are present in the form of the statocyst or we can say the ocelli the sense organ okay are present in the sense we can say the statocyst or the ocelli students what are these meanings you just remember that these are your the sense organs of the cilantrids such as in our case five sense organs are present such as our ear uh, the eye skin these are one of your sense organ similarly the sense organ by which the it it reacts or it, the response causes in the case of the cilantrid those are called as statocyst or the ocelli okay these are the direct one mark means the what are the various sense organs of the <coughs> cilantrid those are answer you can write statocyst or the ocelli next that the respiration and the excretion occurs or the respiration and the uh, excretion uh, causes by the genital body surface so we can write the respiration and excretion through general body surface okay students next these are generally ammonotelic ammonotelic means what the cilantrids generally excrete the ammonia form students do you know what we generally excrete yes we generally excrete the urea similarly the in the case of the cilantrid they generally excrete the ammonia that is why it, these are called the ammonotelic animals these are called the ammono <coughs> telic animals why because they excrete ammonia okay next the nervous system in the case of the cilantrid contains nerve nets without any brain nerve net means what like a spider like web like structure means having so many branches or net or network so we can simply say the nervous system contains the nerve net okay the nervous system contains the nerve net but without brain as we have the brain but they have don't the brain they don't have the brain so we can say nervous system contains nerve nets without brain without brain okay so as of now what we discussed that the sense organs have the statocyst or the ocelli next the respiration and the excretion through the general body surface next the ammonotelic these are ammonotelic animals means they excrete the ammonia means the next to your nervous system contains the nerve net without the brain next how the digestion takes place students the digestion basically takes place in the case of cilantrid by the form of we can say intracellular or extracellular we discussed student in the porifera the digestion is basically intracellular intracellular means what within the cell the digestion takes place inside the cell extracellular means the digestion takes outside the cell as in our case okay so we can write digestion is intracellular as well as extra cellular one more points you should remember students that these are basically sessile 
or sedentary okay some are solitary means they re they remain in single or they also remain in colonial means group okay so next point is your we can say asexual reproduction is through the budding we already discussed what is the budding means uh, some portion we can say means a bud is arise it will individual individually it will evolve uh, it will evolve into an organism okay so these are called or we can say asexual reproduction is through the body another important point is also present in the cylinder students that these have the high power of regeneration as we discussed in the porifera means what student we discussed means if some portion is being cut or accidentally it being damaged the new or new that part is being highly or we can say easily it being uh, means it forms or reproduce that that pers that particular product or we can say it comes again that particular product that particular part so it is why it is called as the they have the high power of regeneration so we can write student next point they have high power of regeneration okay then our next point that is asexual reproduction through body asexual reproduction through budding okay next reads in sexual reproduction it involves or we can say the larval stage is present that is called a planula or the ephyra larva in sexual reproduction in sexual reproduction the larval stage or we can say the larva simply we can say the larva that is your planula or ephyra is present okay so students can you tell me one point from here as i have said that the larval stage is present is the development is direct or indirect you just remind you just uh, means want to to means you just try to tell that if the larval stages is present then the development is direct or indirect i have told in the previous class yes students as the larval stages involved then obviously the development is indirect as i said earlier direct means no larval stages is present that uh, indirect direct means no larval stages is present indirect means larval stages will be present okay so <clears throat> in the sexual reproduction larval stage is present such as a planula or the ephyra larva is present okay students so these are your general points okay another important point is present uh, 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 there is students that some cylindrates like corals okay like corals the secret a skeleton like substance okay which is made up of basically the calcium carbonate which is a solidified substance okay which is basically used in the various decorative purpose or various we can say when ornament also is, it is used okay so we can write another point some cylindrates some cylindrates like corals okay secret a skeleton like substance that is made up of cso3 calcium carbonate okay skeleton like substance these are basically used in the various we can say decorative purpose or in various ornament also it is used okay student so uh, so what are the general points we have discussed as if now the first point is your sensor sense organ that is present in the manner of manner or we can say the statocyst or the ocelli respiration excretion generally occurs through the general body surface these are the ammonotolic animals means excrete generally the ammonia nervous system contains the nerve net <coughs> without brain digestion is intracellular as well as extracellular they have the high power of regeneration asexual reproduction through the general the body and in the sexual reproduction the larval stages are present such as a planula or the ephyra larva is present
and in some cylindrates like the corals this is a this is a form of cylindrate it secretes not all okay some cylindrates such as your coral secretes a skeleton like substance that is called that is made up of we can say calcium carbonate okay so these are your general some more general characteristics of the phylum cylindrata okay note down now student comes to your last part means the last two most important general characteristics are first one is your we can say the alternation of generation that is your metagenesis phenomenon takes place means what see students now we we'll should know a simple concept that as just as of now you should you can draw the diagram for our understanding but it is not required just you know for your knowing i, am, I have done this diagram suppose this is our organism which is in the stage of the polyp stage students the polyp stage the medusa medusa stage these are your students various stages okay simply in our case as as we have the childhood stage then the adolescent stage then the uh, adult stage so in like that only these have also various stages polyp stages the medusa stages the larval stages okay so need not be confused about that okay so students such, suppose this is a polyp stage okay polyp stage means these are sessile or we can say these are stationary and we can say these are this is fixed to the substrate by the asexual budding some forms the female medusa and some forms the male medusa you can see here the female medusa like umbrella like free swimming larva uh, or we can say umbrella like free swimming organism those are so we can say female some forms the female medusa and some from the male medusa obviously female medusa will produce the egg and the male medusa will produce the sperm when the egg and sperm mix with each other or we can say they fuse with other with each other to fertilize and the sexual reproduction takes place to form the zygote and from the zygote as we said that if directly it develops then it will be direct development if one larval stage is present it is not developed into directly then it is called the indirect larva as the larval stage is present so it is the indirect larva okay students so next from the zygote we know that the development is indirect and the larval stage is, stage is present so the larval stages are called the planula or the epiphyseal larva further it develops into the polyp sessile or the polyp form or the polyp stage so student alternation of generation in the polymorphism polymorphism means what having more than one form okay see here it is the polyp next it is been formed into the medusa form medusa form also it is having two form some into female and some into male means having so many means we can say form those are called the polymorphism or alternation of generation generation or we can say the metagenesis means after the asexual budding what we saw that the polyp medusa polyp is being developed into the medusa stages so we can say the alternation of the generation takes place okay or polymorphism means having so many forms okay students so the next important last important two points were alternation of generation is take place and the phenomenon is nothing but a metagenesis and also in the case of the cylindrate it shows the polymorphism that means having more than one form <coughs> lastly students you just for your knowing it is not required completely not required that the what are the various three classes just as you for your knowing i am telling that there are three classes of the uh, cylindrate are present hydrozoa then the uh, scyphozoa and lastly the anthozoa these are your three classes that comes under the cylindrate but this is completely not required the three classes are not in our syllabus just as if for your knowing you can remember that the hydrozoa scyphozoa and the anthozoa are the three classes that comes under the cylindrates so students today we discuss in detail about the phylum cylindrata those were the diploblastic having the blind sac plan okay these are the acelomet okay these are the various we can say aquatic uh, mostly these are the marine water and some are fresh and also we discuss various points under that the means such as that the, these are have the have the radial symmetry and the we can say uh, the it have the body wall have the two layers okay the epidermis and the gastrodermis in between an undifferentiated or we can say jelly like layer is present that is your mesoglia uh, and the and elongated like cells elongated like structure that is called a hypostome it bears the mouth or the tip of the hypostome bears the mouth having numerous tentacles okay which act as a uh, which helps for the capturing of the food or we can say it helps for protecting from the enemies 
due to the presence of the stinging cells or we can say special type of cells that is a nidoblast or the nematoblast it helps in we can say uh, it act as a sting or we can say it uh, help to prevent from the various enemies. So, in various way also we discuss about the respiration, the respiration we talk of the general body surface, these are the ammonotolic means the excretion is generally in the form of the ammonia. Nervous system contains the nerve net without any brain. So, in the life by this we discuss numerous points of under the cylindrata and lastly the important point alternation of generation that is your metagenesis takes place and the it is also, also the polymorphism. And your common example students lastly I have forgot to tell. The common example is your we can say the hydra which is known as your fresh water polyp and also we can say the obelia which is also commonly known as sea fur and lastly lastly not more many more examples are present such as your aurelia which is also known as known as your jellyfish okay. So students uh, that is all for today we will meet in our next class thank you.